All right, hey guys, welcome again to Fire Alarms and Such, and today we're going to be doing a testing and demonstration of my new acne coated pole station. So to begin, this is a code of 6-2, that's why it says 6-2 on the front. This is a rather large pole station. I mean, well, this is the notifier station, I'm just using the wiring from in there to power this one so I can go up to the bell. And if we turn it over, here is the back. This is the timekeeping mechanism inside. There's the code wheel. See, so it's coded 62, and then a terminal block up there. If we go ahead and open it, this is a terrible setup I have, but it's too big to go on the wall. If you open it up here, it's just a little spring tab. Uh, you can see Acme Fire Alarm Company, New York, D203, your UL panel. Up here is your general gong switch. I don't have all the mounting screws in as I took the uh, mounting base off so I could show you the back. So that's why this front cover is kind of sliding around. But this is your general gong switch. I don't have it hooked up today, but you just put pretty much anything in there. And then you move the switch down there. And then this is your actual pull lever that you pulled actually. And then this is just to send a single ping and test it. So what was weird about this pull station is everything was in a normally closed state, which is why I had this relay off to the side to get it to reverse the um, state of the pull. Because it's sitting in a normally closed state, state, that would work, but I just don't like the fact that it would leave the hammer of my gong up, and if I didn't have it on a single stroke, it would just be like running, whatever it is, because the contacts are closed. So I put the relay in to reverse that, to make it basically now normally open pull station. Because the way that this works is in here, you can kind of see, but it those contacts are closed. And when the pull's activated, those contacts open. Um, so there really is only one thing to do now, and that is to pull it. So we will pull here to open the door, and then we are going to pull the lever down. Let me try and get this all lined up but nice. And then pull the lever down. And it winds up four just like the other one. All right, so then the coding sequence ends. And then, um, I'm not gonna take the front cover off, but the way that you would get this off, actually, you know what I might be able to, is you would undo the screws to take this front red plate off. And then, it's been from the back. So once you get this front red plate off, it's really complicated to actually get in to the pole station, like if you were to service it set it up, test it, inspect it, what have you. And the way this works is maybe. Here we go, it's going now. So you would take out the four screws. I just have one of them in to make it look nice. This was in such good condition. This was a wonderful this was in wonderful condition, and I got it only for a couple bucks, really. So the whole front plate comes off, and then you are just left with the actual pull station. So this little latch, it's kind of stuck. I need to add some WD-40 or something to it. But this comes down and holds the front plate in. So here is your gong test. Here's the actual pull lever, and here's your general arm. And then the whole thing actually opens up so there's all your terminals these are your two for your code and then these are for your general gong here's your general gong switch so what happens is you just stick something in and twist and it will pull apart those contacts you can see 
it's opening. So again, it's in that backwards position. And then once you're done, the whole thing just closes back up. Oops, hung up on a wire. Whole thing closes back up. Then you just slide the little latch back down and then put your front plate back on. So this has been a testing and review of an Acme coated pole station. So thank you guys for watching. And as always, ah, have a wonderful day.